I became interested in issues involving economic growth uh, back in the early 90s. I began having an interest in these issues, and then in 2004, I wrote this book called Citizen's Guide to U.S. Economic Growth and to the bush Carey Economic Debate. <coughs> I had a lot of fun writing the book, uh, and the present book is a successor to this book. After laying out the basic economic principles, I then go to policy issues, such as monetary policy. And I talk about how monetary policy gets uh, implemented in this country. Then I talk about what Obama thinks about, uh, President Obama thinks about monetary policy. What, you know, is he supportive of what the Fed's been doing? I talk about, about what Governor Romney's positions are. Then I move to fiscal policy. And with respect to fiscal policy, I first talk about the great deficit debate um, among President Obama and Governor Romney. I then turn to Medicare and Social Security, which is a big fiscal issue, how we spend on Medicare and Social Security. I then turn to Obamacare. I have a chapter on Obamacare. So and I talk a bit about um, what uh, Governor Romney's position is, what uh, President Obama's position is. Uh, obviously, um, <coughs> their positions are like polar opposites. I then have a chapter on tax policy, so I foc where I focus on basic tax, tax policy principles and uh, then uh, examine in uh, depth President Obama's proposals and Governor Romney's proposals. Um, <clears throat> so th that's the, really the core of the book and the core look at the policy differences between President Obama and Governor Romney. And at each point where I have a view, I express my view as well. So I throw my view in the mix. What I think we need to do in reforming these is to take away the benefits from, of Medicare and Social Security from high income uh, taxpayers. And what I would do is I would phase it out at, from $75,000 of uh, broadly measured income to $150,000 of broadly measured income. What the Ryan proposal does, it cuts the benefit for Medicare, but for everybody. Now it cuts it less for low income people than it does for high income people, but it does cut it for low income people. I just don't think it makes sense to cut Medicare, particularly for low or middle income individuals. A lot of these folks, maybe most of them, are working in hard, you know, jobs that are hard labor jobs. You know, they're carrying packages, or they're working in a mine, or they're, they're picking up garbage, or you know, they have some, some kind of blue collar job, and they're spending 30, 40 years in those blue collar jobs when they get to 65, the last thing they need to do is to be concerned about their health care because their life expectancy in many cases isn't going to be that long. So, so why do you want to impose cuts on average Americans when you got Warren, the Warren Buffetts out there in the world, the Romneys out there in the world, very, very wealthy people who are collecting Medicare payments and Social Security payments? It doesn't make sense. We're crazy. I've had an opportunity to take a look at Governor Romney's tax return for 2011. Uh, he's, got, uh, a, he's got a lot of capital gain in his tax return. He's got a lot of capital gain from his PE investments, which are carried interest, uh, which uh, really are ordinary income, uh, would normally be taxed at the max rate of 35 percent. They're being taxed at 15 percent. You know, it's, a, it's at a rate uh, that's applicable to, uh, to, to people who are very poor. Um, President Obama has proposed to eliminate this benefit for carried interest. It, it just is absolutely appalling that we have permitted this to go on like this. We've got to, we've got to eliminate this 15% uh, benefit for carried interest. I believe strongly that the rates ought to go up. I looked at, pre I looked at Governor Romney's returns, and if President Obama's proposals were enacted, Governor Romney's tax rate would go from like 16% to 
and he would be paying millions of dollars more in taxes. So he's got a, he's got a strong reason to oppose President Obama, and that is he's got a personal interest, a personal stake, to, uh, uh, and a personal um, reason to, to oppose those kinds of, uh, those kinds of tax increases.